for the sign of Scorpio, hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So Scorpio, the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we've got the Empress and it's with the Queen of Cups. Now the Empress doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things. Her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now this does not mean that she'll always get her way, but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially because we all know there's many types of wealth and riches in life and money is actually only one of them. But the Empress can have it all. She can encompass any or all of them. Now it's with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups can indicate, a, can indicate a woman who would be very helpful to you. She will remind you to bring love, compassion to your work, to your life. And that's even possible, even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. So things are probably better in your working world, in your life, when you get this card. Yeah, things are probably better overall. Whenever you see the Queen or the King of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the deck, in the tarot. It's all about kindness and compassion. What's in the cup? Love. L-O-V-E. So, the message that I'm getting, Scorpio, for you and your person, Empress clarified by this Queen of Cups. Yeah, so I'm getting for some of you, you're, you're, you've got deep attraction for someone. Yeah, you're very drawn to this person. Uh, the Empress can be about deep love. So you might have deep love or deep emotions for someone. And you're ready to off offer love to this person. Yeah, that's the energy that I'm getting. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got this Queen of Pentacles. And it's with the star card. Now, the Queen of Pentacles can indicate that you could be spending time, money, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this would be a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. And I say this because people could be looking to you for insight and or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. It's a time period when you can get a lot accomplished. Now it's with the star card. <laughs> okay, the star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired and you'll be more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You could also feel more confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's emotional or financial or maybe both. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, but it's gonna be unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. Yeah, the star card can be a spiritual card also, so you could find yourself feeling at one with all of creation, but it's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure that you savor it. So the message that I'm getting, Scorpio, coming up for you and your person, Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the star. So like I said, you've got emotions for someone. You would like to offer this person your cup, your cup of love. You you would like to, but it's with this Queen of Pentacles, though, coming up. The Queen of Pentacles, she kind of falls back. It's the card above the word present. You see how this lady, she's sitting in her backyard in a lounge chair. She's got a dog on her, at her feet. He's keeping her toes warm. 
She's feeding the bir birds and the squirrels that come by. She's taking taking um, comfort that she's got money in the bank. She's cuddling a huge pinnacle. Just taking comfort in the ordinary things. So she could be falling back from, from things that might upset her. Or things that might cause drama. She's just chilling. Yeah, so the message I'm getting for you coming up is that there's somebody that you said you're interested in or somebody that you want to go towards. You may already be with this person, but it's, it's, it's showing that you're ready to offer this person. You're ready to offer them love. You're very attracted to them, or they could be really attracted to you. But you, you're not ready yet. You want to, but you. I don't, I don't think you're you're ready. It looks like you could be working on building your self confidence, and right now you feel like a lot of you are feeling like now is not the time for some reason or another. So you might just work on your confidence. Yeah, you might be trying to get some... The star card can be also about inner clarity. It can be about renewal. It can be about hope. It can be about having faith. So I'm getting for a lot of you, you're trying to um, build yourself up for this. Because there's somebody that you're... Like I said, you've got emotions for and... You're falling back for now. You're not going towards them. Like I said, a lot of you are working on yourself or trying to build your confidence to go towards this person. But let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We have the Knight of Pentacles and it's with the Two of Swords. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is actually a really good energy. It's stable, it's about being civilized. It's about being practical, and it can be about um, a very sto a solid energy. Um, yeah, this Knight of Pentacles is about stability. The Knight of Pentacles can be your knight in shining armor. Very stable, loyal, committed type of energy. Now, it's with this Two of Swords. Two of Swords tells us that your partnerships, they could be going somewhere well. Whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality and the connection. And whether or not you're being treated by an equalizer person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this, this definitely requires communication. Open communication because nothing will change without effort. So... Scorpio challenge Knight of Pentacles and it's with the two clarified by the two of swords. Yeah, now this person that you're interested in, I'm getting that a lot of you. You could be in communication. You could be talking to them because it looks like they're ready to come towards you. <laughs> It looks like this person is ready to come towards you. But for some reason, you're not ready. Because the Two of Swords can be about blocking and avoiding. <clears throat> yeah, so they're ready. But you're still sitting there in your backyard. Feeding the birds and the squirrels. You want this. You want this and they want it too. But you're not moving yet. You are you're not moving. Yep, they're ready. They're ready for you. You wanna offer your cup of love, but you're still sitting in, in your in the backyard on your lounge chair. 
But uh, yeah, Knight of Pentacles is good. They they could want to have something serious with you, something solid and stable. But you you're not moving, Scorpio. What's going on? The star card is saying that you could be working on your confidence or trying to get some inner clarity. Or, or maybe you're just working on yourself. The star card can be about grief of the past being released, feeling rejuvenated, hopeful. So I'm getting that for now, you're just, you're avoiding, you're blocking them. You, you're not, um, you're not opening the door, not yet. But let's, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is because that's interesting. You want this person and they want you, but you're not moving. So... Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Six of Swords. <laughs> Six of Swords ends with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so the Six of Swords. It's actually about resolution. If you take a look at the picture, Six of Swords is a card above the word outcome. You see how these two people are in a boat or a canoe? They actually just got out of raging waters. There was a huge storm that they were in. And now the waters are finally still. And they're moving into peace. No more raging waters there. Moving into calmer waters. Yeah, Six of Swords is about um, recovery. Now, it's with the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to get in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. The appearance of this card is usually about happiness, good things to come. It can also mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, the Nine of Cups is actually one of the most positive indicators of yes. So, Scorpio, the outcome, Six of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Cups. So yeah, like I said, your person, they're ready to come to, they're ready to come towards you, but for, but you're blocking them. You're not ready yet for some reason. Now the outcome is showing that they're very ready, very much so ready to be with you. Even if it's just, just being with you. Um... And it doesn't even have to be romantically. They're just ready to come towards you. It can be on a, on a friendly basis. Yeah, because if you look at the people in the in that boat, uh, the Six of Swords in the canoe, they're not looking at each other. She's working on a project or looking at her schedule for what she's got to do. For the up and coming week, and he's way, he's about six feet behind her. Just trying to get from one point to the next. So your person just wants to be with you. It doesn't matter if it's romantically or not. They just want to get started on the connection. They see you as a wish come true, Scorpio, with the Nine of Cups here. Yeah, this person, they would feel very blessed and satisfied if you just opened the door. But you're not, you're avoiding them. Yeah, for now you are. I, I think eventually you'll open up the door. 
you know, something about the stars is just, it's making me think that you're working on your confidence or you're working on some type of rejuvenation or something like that. But you want this and they want it, but you're not ready right now. Yeah, this person, they do want to be with you. Like I said, they just want to get their foot in the door. It doesn't have to be romantically or it doesn't have to, you know, they don't care if it goes slow and steady. It doesn't have, they don't, they're not, they're not even looking to rush you. They just want to be near you, but you're not, you're not letting them right now. Yeah, they see you as a wish come true. Come true.